Bitcoin. This is Bill from Lofty Maker Channel, a channel for makes product reviews by a guide and product tips, something like that. Last week, there's one company called Infinity 3D. They launched their UKIT machine and they launched at Kickstarter and they contact me, ask me if I'm, I'm willing to test their machine. Yeah, for me, of course, yes. Since I was working at 3D printer company for around three years, so I have some experience in this industry. To be honest, I'm not that technical guy compared to a 3D printer company or community, but still I have some sort of experience in printing with 3D printer. So in this video, I'm going to review this machine from a normal user of 3D printer, not a technical guy. I believe not everyone has a technical background. So if you haven't followed my channel, make sure you like my video and subscribe and hit the bell to get the latest notification from us. Without further ado, let's just jump into the product details. To be honest, me when I receive the product, it's already assembled. So I cannot show you the details of how they pack the machine. And the machine I receive is just a beta version. So what you guys receive will be an upgrade version compared to the machine I test. E3D V6. For the first part, I'm going to present you whole end. Obviously, it's Chrome version of E3D V6 structure. It has PTFE tube that goes through the heat plate and into hot side, which limits what temperature you can print at since it starts to break down in the 245 to 250 range. With the whole end V6 structure, you can make all kinds of parts with an exceptional finishing quality and it's easy to maintain and a replacement and you will have more potential to upgrade the whole end. For X and JX, X, they use linear rear insert. It enables a smooth sliding motion as the ball rolls between the surface. It provides higher precision, smoother motion, easier and precise mounting. On the heat pad, the base of Infinity 3D is a rolling convey belt. A, a convey belt rolls during the printing process, which can realize the continuous printing of batch model. They use a high strength fiber woven conveyor belt that allows the model to stick firmly and it will peel off when the model is transferred to the end. A bad exchange can cause a hosting of printing problems, including under extrusion. But this machine, they use BMG style exchange that has dual gear drive. The exchange has a power increasing gear ratio for its dual drive setup and a complete high quality component from strong materials. It will provide better feeding force which improves extrusion on your 3D printer. Furthermore, bone tax extruder can be easily arranged in either a bottom or direct drive setup. Oh, by the way, this is a Chrome version of BMG extruder. It's time to check the main board and the power supply. I just unbox it and I find they use meanwhile power supply, which is 350 watt, which is not mentioned at the Kickstarter page. Mm, that's a good power. And check with me the main board. It has TMC2209 driver and it's 32 bit main board. It will keep the printer more quiet during printing. But I have I haven't tested the extra sound level when printing since I don't have any good tools to test it yet. Bad level. 
backlight filling is quite important before we start printing, but compared to our traditional FDM 3D printer, the level on this belt printer is kind of a small different. On traditional FDM 3D printer, you just need an A4 paper to test the distance between the rosal and the whole bed. The paper must feel has, has a little bit resistance when you test, but with this belt machine, you must ensure the and the belt distance is very close. The rosal must stick to the print bed at extremely tighty. So don't forget about that. A screen on the home screen, you can see it has three main parts of menu: tool setting and printing. So let's start with the tool first. Click the tool, click the hit preheat. You can preheat your machine at this part as other printer has. So easy part. Next one, choose the extension. You can extrude, you can extrude in your filament or out by using this function. Next one, we choose move function. You can move your x, y, z in here, and you can select distance every time you move. function. I believe everyone know what is this for. For leveling. As I have shown you on the video before, it has 4.2 level. All you need to do is just level every point. For filament function, machine will drive the gear to insert your filament in or pull filament out. Now, let's check with setting. We choose config first, select the machine, and select the machine type. It has Lomo and Delta option. Just keep it as Lomo. Firmware type. I just keep it as default, which is Marine. Hold read. Keep it as default. And always remember, Keep config default if you don't understand what is function for. But now I'm not going to explain all function one by one. You can just watch this part or skip to the next part if you don't have any interest in the function of menu.
It's time to show you how do we change this machine into Infinity Z printing. For the first part, just change the hot end angle as the video show. Watch it clearly. Next, take off a screw at brass kit and the frame overall. It's not that difficult to switch the machine. Let's do it now. Finally, it's all done. I haven't printed too much model at 45 degree yet, since I'm not a big fan of Infinity Z. But of course, I will consider to make another video to show more detail about the Infinity Z printing. As you can see, I have printed some models. Uh, I use both 90 degree and 40 degree of the Infinity Z printing. So. For example, like this is printed by the 90 degree and which is uh, like, like a traditional FDM 3D printer. But for this model, it's printed by 45 degree. So, this model is printed by 45 degree. So, you can see the layer is here, which is 45 degree. And this tiger is printed by 90 degree. You see, so far the print quality is okay. So at the beginning, uh, I did have some file print, but that happens is because of uh, I didn't never bed properly. This Batman is also printed by 90 degree. King Kong. And the 
last pinchy. So, upon the service of this company, um, I asked them and the company them um, question, and uh, um, they claim that uh, they will cover tax and duty if you are living in USA, and they have one year's warranty even you back the product at Kickstarter. And for the open source, they will release source code at the website. For the price, for the super early bird price is um, 499 but I believe uh, it has backed out already. But still, if you miss that opportunity, the early bird price is 549 which is a good deal as well. So again, Kickstarter is a local retail platform such as Amazon or official website or eBay, something like that. You, you will always take the risk to back the project at the Kickstarter. So that's it for the video for today. And if you still have any doubt about the video or about this, about this machine, so make sure you leave your comment below or you can just contact the official at a Facebook group or website or something like that. So if you haven't subscribed our channel, make sure you subscribe our channel. See you next time.